Okay, before I get started, just so everybody knows what I'm working with, just so nobody freaks out, this is a Jerome Alexander Cushion Compact Foundation. Well, it was. I liked the foundation that was in this. Um, this is one that uh, changes to your skin tone. I liked it a lot. I used the whole thing. Um, I found it a little light coverage. It's a sheer, um, it's not quite as full coverage as I would like, but I would definitely buy this again for the summer. <clears throat> it only comes in the one shade. I got this from uh, Dollar General, so I'll see if I can link that below. But anyhow, back to what I was saying. See how beautiful this compact is? I just couldn't get rid of it. Whoops. Push the button here, and it opens up. You have your mirror. You have your little cushion that it comes with. This right here is not the product. This opens, and then this is the sponge that would contain your foundation. Now, since I love the way this works, I love everything about the way it works. I refill this with whatever foundation I am using at the time and the sponge, the compact, uh, both sponges have been washed. Okay, these are clean. Keep it clean. Okay, um, today, well, like most days, I'm using a combination of Maybelline Matte and Poreless and the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth, both in the shade 115, which are slightly different. I like the Dewy and Smooth because I have very, very dry skin. I like the matte and poreless because it gives a little more coverage than the doing and smooth. So when I mix them together, it kind of looks like me. I like this cushion because I can press into the wrinkles and then go back and wipe out the excess. I've used a brush and a sponge. I don't like the regular sponges, the little wedges, because they seem to um, leave streaks. My eyelids are very hooded so I just barely get a little color on there. My forehead is extremely wrinkled. Don't nobody need to see that. But, gotta have my face mash, match. So, I just rub a little tiny bit just so that the color is there. I don't want any excess in the wrinkle. It's not too bad. I don't usually use concealer because my eyes are so dry it just ends up looking worse. So I just kind of push around. I have sunspots, bags from hell, wrinkly eyeballs. 
this is my biggest problem right here. If somebody can figure out how to fix this or make it look less noticeable, that would be great. <coughs> Try Robert's dots. There's a dot. There's a dot. There's a dot. And there's a dot. Well, they're a little bigger than Robert's dots, but let me get something on that freaking sunspot. Just try to cover up some of this darkness. Getting old as hell. Let me tell you, ladies. Fight it tooth and nail. You gentlemen, too. Don't pass up that sunscreen aisle and don't pass up that moisturizer aisle. There's a lot of companies that make products specifically for men so you don't have to be afraid of Buying a girly cream. Phew. Bags from hell. Okay, let's go. I have here a powder foundation that I will be using just to dust my cheeks a little so that I can. Put some blush and moisturizer on there and they'll go smoothly. This is from Marc Jacobs. It is one of those changing color powders, powder foundation. Can't powder anything else. Oh, here's the powder compact. <coughs> because I'm too dry. Terrible, terrible dry. Okay. Um, on the bronzer, this is a Maybelline bronzer kit. And it does not have the colors on there. It's master color, light to medium. Very well used. <laughs> I don't have a lot of uh, cosmetics. I like to be able to feel my cheekbone with the brush. This is pretty hard. How do you people do this? The reason I'm tapping before blending is I like to get it distributed before I, I don't know, leave a chunk of makeup somewhere. I do my forehead even though I um, hide it because of the massive wrinkles. It's terrible, terrible, terrible. Yep, 
Oh well, you're not here to look at my hair anyway. I don't usually use my eyes do eye makeup, but when I do, it's from the bronzer. And I have to keep my eyes open because there's like no eyelid. I just give that a little color just so it's not all blank white staring at you, great big old lid. Try to douse it down a little. As you can see, I have quite a problem here. I'm not real fond of them, but I can see, mostly. So that's all that matters, right? Okay, I just don't want it jumping out at people. Scare people to death with an eyelid. That'd be bad. I just use a very little bit on my nose. It's so big and bulbous, I hate it. Oh my god. You know, I always try to do tutorials and stuff with the YouTube gurus. And I go running into the mirror. And there's this damn old wrinkled up face looking at me and I hate that just try to give it a little <coughs> color there now I'm just sponging over and adding just a little bit more bronzer I like to finish it with the sponge because it gets rid of any streaks that may be showing. You know, I forgot my jaw. Let me just get this here. This needs to be in hell. What the fuck? Go away. Sorry if I'm looking weird. I don't know how you people do this stuff. There we go. Whoop, a little dark. That's all right. Get a little blend. I used to work with a woman that would wear the heaviest foundation. It was hilarious. Because you could tell it was a mask to start with. But, I mean, you could tell it was makeup. It was really heavy. She would stop it at her chin. And then when she would talk, there would be this line of foundation that would be going up and down and up and down. <laughs> it was hilarious. Sorry. Okay, I'm also stippling some blush. This is from that same Maybelline palette on my cheekbones, um, I mean on the apples, and I like to dot that on so I can get it moved around pretty nicely. I mean, I don't want a clown face. Although, hey, whoop, sorry. <laughs> I'll take any suggestions anybody has on how to Fix this. 
My cheekbones are uneven. You can probably tell. Okay. Mm. I really don't like my nose. I really hate it. But, oh well. Such is life. Um, sorry. Hmm? Let me just get a little, a little more right there. That's a little more than I was planning on, but all right. We can be hooker. No, I'm just kidding. Okay. Um, eyebrows. I have a wet and wild pencil. Ooh, and it's not sharpened. Um, hang on. Okay, I've got my little nub. Don't laugh at it. <laughs> Let me brush them first. Which, I'm trying to grow them back in. So if they look a little wild, that's how it's going. Because, you know, when I was younger, not too long ago, actually, everybody squeezed their eyebrows because the thin brow was in. But now, it's not, and society accepts us to grow these things back. Which I am, you know. But... Ugh. They're a little uneven at the moment. I'm wanting to get a brow gel to replace this pencil. I don't know. I might just stick with the pencil. I just don't like it to look drawn on. You know? All fake. I hate that. Well, I mean, everybody knows that makeup is fake. better or the more natural it looks the better it goes this is the color blonde I do not know, understand why everybody has black eyebrows all of a sudden I just don't get it uh, mascara no, let's wait for that. No. Highlight. Okay, this is from Wet n Wild. And this is Blossom Glow. It's very pigmented. So just like one touch in there. And I've got all the highlight I need. Again, I'm stippling and I'm rolling the brush. My handle fell off. I should have put my hair back. Oh well. I like to make sure I get it almost like a blush topper. And I need the light in the front because I wear glasses and I don't know it just detracts I'm gonna put a little highlight on my eyebrow put 
it a little on the inside here where it's so dark. my nose like you can't see it or something get the cupid's bow I like to get that real good because my top lip is like almost it's like if I didn't have a lip liner there'd be no top lip I mean give me a break um, am I forgetting anything? Oh, yeah. I use the highlighter also on my eyelids. And I push it with a finger. To get some color. Or some attention to the fact that, whoops, got a little high. That I actually have. Oh! Okay. I'm not a guru. No shame in my game. <laughs> I missed. Shit. Missed a lot. Alright, let's try and fix that. Um, powder. Brush. Lighten that up a little. <coughs> Where did my, um, there it is. Just want to re-emphasize that. I hope you can see this. I feel like I'm putting on tons of makeup, but in this viewer, it doesn't look like nothing. Mascara and lipstick. Oops, lip liner. I sharpened that when I sharpened my eyebrow pencil because, well, I thought I was prepared and I wasn't. See how dry? Mm mm mm. Don't look at my fingernails. I gotta get them done someday. I do them myself because I can't afford a manicure. Nope. I need to stop talking. Make sure I get the corner. Okay, that was um, LA Colors in. I don't know, I've sharpened it off already. Mmm. I got a Wet n Wild 
li liquid cat suit and it's right on my copper. It's almost empty and I have to get another one. Don't look up my nose. I hate that with videos. For some odd reason, I'm always looking up somebody's nose. This mascara. Oh wait, I've got a white eyeliner. My eyes are so small that I try to make them look bigger. I have very tiny eyelashes, so I usually skip the mascara on the bottom. And this is in LA co LA colors. I'm not sure. I sharpened that off too. I need one of those Maybelline gel pencils, the tattoo ones. Do they come in white? On the commercial, all I see is the blue, the black, and the brown. Um. What do we got here? Mascara. I have small eyelashes. It's, wow, I gotta get another mirror. Okay. Sorry about that. I have not found a mascara I like. Sorry about that. My phone rang. I think I was saying uh, I haven't found a mascara that I like enough to buy twice. So I just buy whatever's around whatever's on sale and I just got it on my eyelid yay damn wrinkles should I try and put it on my little? nah screw it mmm yeah no oh I do need uh, some finishing spray. <clears throat> so I'm not a great big, uh, dried up mess. Get everything all... I keep hitting the camera, sorry. sitting in the floor. Hang on, let me take you to some different lighting. 
Okay, here I am in front of my kitchen window. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. Hit the bell for notifications. Have a great day.